How many times has that happened to you? You build a new guitar and you go to fit the neck initially to the body and you have a nice big gap at the fingerboard extension. Now, this angle may be cut correctly. You may have an excellent fit of the neck joint to the body, but you've got that unsightly gap at the fingerboard extension. Well, that happened to me enough times that I wanted to come up with a solution to it. Sometimes I would build a guitar that would be perfect. Another time I would do the exact same procedure, I'd have a big gap. Maybe it would be down here, maybe it would be up here. Let me show you in a little bit more detail what I'm talking about. Ideally, what you want when the guitar is strung up is you want a flat fingerboard all the way from the first fret to the last fret. If I were to glue this fretboard extension down the way it is now, I'd have about a sixteenth to an eh, three thirty seconds of an inch fall off. And for some builders, that's okay. But if you look at a lot of factory made guitars like Gibson, Martin, even some of the overseas imports coming off that sell for less than 500 bucks, their fingerboards are always dead flat. To me, fall off is unacceptable on a new build. And you're going to have a hard time selling guitars if you consistently can't make a straight fingerboard. Well, actually, what I did in that opening sequence that you just saw was I took the wrong neck and tried to put it on this guitar. This neck actually goes with this mahogany guitar here. This is the right neck for this guitar. Now when I put this guitar neck on, the correct one, there is no gap there. Let me show you. Here's what your neck set should look like. You should have a flat fingerboard extension over the body and this joint right here, the intersection between the heel and the body, should require very little, if any, flossing or finessing later on. Here's another guitar, and as you can see, no gap and a good neck set. What I'm going to show you in this course is how to get a perfect neck set every time, whether you build two guitars a year or a hundred. It doesn't matter because if you don't get the neck set correct the first time, you're going to spend a lot of extra time fussing with this joint and it makes the initial action setup of the guitar extremely difficult. Now, I did not invent this technique. What I did is I borrowed a lot of different techniques from a lot of different builders and I kind of made it my own. The other thing is, I'm not going to show you how to build a complete guitar in this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on the two most important aspects of getting a good neck set, which is one, putting the correct geometry on the sides, and secondly, how to cut this neck joint. I don't cut it with a router. I use a table saw. Before we get into the steps, I'm going to show you on how to put the geometry into the side and cutting the neck. I just want to explain how this course is set up. First of all, it's divided roughly into two sections. One, we're going to deal with the body geometry, and then second, we're going to deal with the neck. You're going to follow me as I do the steps in making a model double O guitar. I'm using the plans that I got from Grelier, which I'll put a link to at the bottom of this screen. The other thing I've done is I've prepared a course which is online and it's just something that you can print out which is available in PDF format which pretty much follows the course so you can just put it in a notebook and have it as a handy reference later. When we do the body geometry there's going to be several lessons. One, we're going to talk about pre-profiling the sides after you've bent them. 
We're not going to show things like kerfing, installing the bindings, installing the top bracing and that type of stuff. We're going to skip right to the end of that, show you how to prepare the body before you cut the mortise. Then we're going to skip to the neck. I'm not going to show you how to make a whole neck, but what I will show you are a couple steps along the way that I use that may be different from the way that you've been doing it. They help me to get a really good neck set. I suggest you watch this course from the start to the end. That way you'll have a really good idea of what's involved, how to do it, and how much time and effort you need to spend on the different lessons. So, Let's get started with establishing the body geometry.